which is. If you're in America, listen up. If you're not, you can go ahead and just take off because this doesn't apply to you. Um, IRS to transition from education to enforcement, says former division chief. No, you know what, I take that back. If you're in other countries and you're not paying uh, taxes right now, maybe this could come to your country, but that's a long shot. Really what it comes down to is this. Um, America printed, I think America printed 30% of all the circulating money in the last six months to eight months or something like that. Um, so the value of the dollar went down and the only way to really get this back on track is to tax the living hell out of everybody. And that's what's gonna happen. And what they're looking at here is, well, where can we find, where is the lag? Where is the problem where we've got some type of uh, crypt or some type of asset that we haven't really got our hands around and don't understand? Where is it? Where's the biggest one? Cryptocurrency, especially this year in 2021, when uh, there's a ton of money to be made and a ton of capital gains uh, charges to be brought. So this is what's happening. It only makes sense. So a former top investigator is warning that a high stakes game of chicken between the IRS and crypto holders will fail to properly report their earnings. We'll be entering a new phase in 2021 as a tax collection agency begins to focus on pursuing civil and potentially criminal penalties. The former chief of the uh, IRS criminal investigation division said it will now be turning to more stringent enforcement. He states the IRS has been not so quietly positioning itself for a smooth transition from education to enforcement in 2021 and beyond. So if you thought that uh, the years prior weren't, uh, were kind of crappy, just wait, because it's about to get worse. So the article notes that the trail starts with Coinbase, who answered a John Doe summons in 2018 and handed over account information on nearly 13,000 years. If you don't remember this, uh, the IRS was like, hey, we need help. Uh, getting some information so we can tax people on their cryptocurrency gains and I, Coinbase was kind of like reluctant at first, but then they you know complied. So here we are uh, The request the IRS made to Luxembourg based exchange Bitstamp for information on one American user also was followed through So uh, there's a far-reaching implication if you're you know, if you're America living abroad uh, The focus on crypto holders is in part due to a widening tax gap, which is what I was trying to say in the beginning the rift between a total income from taxes that should be paid to the treasury versus what it actually receives. So they know there's a bunch of taxes that they need to uh, collect. They just don't know how to do it. So how are they going to do that? Well, they're going to get into these exchanges. They're going to get into a lot of AML and KYC, and they're going to say, where's our money? Pay us. And uh, just be aware that's what's going to happen. Ultimately, the article concludes that major trends such as the addition of a question about crypto now prominently placed at the top of Form 1040 indicates that the IRS is gearing up for widespread efforts. So what the heck are they talking about here? Well, they're talking about this. This is the new 1040 EZ form. And before it was written, or it was uh, placed a little bit uh, backwards. So you really didn't see this question, which is if at any time during 2020, <laughs> did you receive exchange send or whatever else, any kind of virtual currency? And if you said no to that and they had your information, you received a nice little letter that looks like this. Hey. Pete, we're writing to tell you that uh, I think you made an error on your tax form and you really did have some virtual currency. So why don't you just come clean before we bust you down? That's pretty much the whole uh, rigmarole of that whole letter. So this is what's going to happen. And it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be an interesting year. So to finish this up, even though the IRS has not yet announced any kind of tax evasion or money laundering cases, um, you best believe they're gonna do that and the trend should change in 2021. So they're gonna, this is what I think. Every IRS division, I mean the IRS, they need to make an example of somebody and I don't want that to be you. I don't want that to be me because guess what? Uh, I've been through an audit and it's awful. You have to bring in all your tax receipts. It takes weeks, sometimes months. For me, it didn't take that long. It was just a couple of weeks because I had all my tax, all my uh, receipts that I keep pretty stringently, and I laid them all out. They questioned a lot of that 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 information, and it wasn't that bad. I, I ended up having to pay like an extra, like I think it was like twelve hundred bucks or something. It wasn't. It was just a, a, a non thing, but it is kind of harrowing because you have to take time off of work. You have to do all the things you have to do. You have to take time away from your family to 
get this rectified because if not, they will garnish wages and blah, da 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 da. So I know some people in the comments section were like, hey, you know what? They're not taking anything from me because taxation is theft and I, can, I don't have to pay anything because this is cryptocurrency. And um, you're welcome to think that until they send letters and until they start garnishing wages, until they start taking uh, liens and all those things. So um, it's, you can do whatever you want to. That's all I can say. There's two options for you. One is, you know, you can use iTrust. I have a, a, a crypto IRA. There's a link in the description below. And what's great about that is that uh, they can't touch your crypto gains. So that is one option. But again, you have to wait till you're 59 and a half to withdraw. That's just an option. And then the next thing, uh, let's just deal with the here and now. And the here and now is you're going to need some software because when you do your taxes, unless your CPA is super well versed in cryptocurrency, they're going to make mistakes. And this is why I've been talking about CryptoTrader.tax for quite some time. And I truly believe in it. And it's what I used last year. And it saved me like $16,000 uh, because of all the different transactions. So if you're like me and you have a ton of transactions from like way back in the day, because I had to go back all the way to like 2017, uh, they got everything. They got everything from uh, my Coinbase, my Binance, my OKX, my whatever else junk uh, exchange that I used because they have an API. They put it all in. It took me like from the learning curve to actually doing it, it took me like 30 minutes. I, cl I clicked on a button. It sent it over to my CPA. My CPA reviewed it send it off to the IRS, and I saved a bunch of money. So that's the simplest thing of all time. So there's two things. First of all, in the link in the description, there's a, there's a link in the link in the description. In the description, there's a link to CryptoTrader, and you get a percentage off just for uh, viewers of Dan. Also, they're doing a pretty cool thing where they're going to be drawing a free cryptocurrency tax report. I believe it's every week. Uh, it's every, I'm pretty sure it's every week. So um, they're going to do that, and all you got to do is just putting your first name, and your email, and they'll draw it up. And that's like uh, between, it's actually between $100 and $300 uh, for that report for, uh, for the tax software. So again, there is a link in the description right underneath the link to sign up for CryptoTrader. So maybe uh, you wanna win something, just uh, put your information in there and see if you can win it. And uh, that is what I will be using uh, again this year. And uh, that'll be due for me very soon. So, and actually, it's uh, one of the programs that I use to figure out that uh, there's a thing called tax loss harvesting. And I was able to sell my XRP for a, an enormous loss, which I talked about yesterday, and uh, actually buy all that in into uh, tax savings. Of course, what's great about cryptocurrency is that there's no wash trading. So you can just buy that right back if you want to. It's up to you. All right, so uh, that is it. I know a little bit a little, little bit long, but there's a lot of things going on. I truly believe 2021 is going to be a great year. Um, it just depends on where you want to be and what you want to do as far as with your crypto. Me, myself, I'm not a trader. I'm just an investor. I just dollar cost average. I'll still dollar cost average, and I'm looking at different projects, but right now I've got my position. So anyhow, uh, everything's in the, in the uh, link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you like those types of videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. I'll let uh, YouTube do their magic. And, uh, and that is it. So thanks again, appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.